Hi, my name is Jessica Lewis and this is my video for how to make an uploaded video for the Construction Materials Laboratory as well as some good tips on how to get a good grade for this assignment. Over the past year working with Dr. Howard, I've had several opportunities as you can see talking to different news stations or to technical service companies and had to utilize effective communication. It's why I really like these videos because it gives students an opportunity to build upon that skill. So this is going to be a quick two part video, one on how to use studio within Canvas to actually upload your video. And as I said earlier, some tips on how to get a good grade for this assignment. So we're going to start by going into our classroom page on our my state edu website. And we're going to click on the construction materials laboratory here i'm using my technical writing class for the purposes of this video so once you get within your classroom you're going to click studio here on the left once you click studio it's going to open up your library obviously if you have not used studio this will be blank but you can see that i've played around with this a couple of times here in the top right corner you're going to click record and screen capture and actually, if you want to open your screen launcher, we're going to say yes, and this will pop up. So as you can see, anything within this frame will be recorded, as well as your webcam here in the bottom right corner. You can adjust this frame on your screen if you only want to show a crop version, as well as you can move wherever you want the webcam to be. This position here is in the middle of the screen and it hides um, any content that you have. So I would prefer it to be over in the corner as way you can see you as well as whatever you're trying to present. So once you've got the frame wherever you want it to be, in the top left, you click record. It's gonna give you a three, two, one, go, and you're gonna go and be amazing. What I like about Studio in Canvas is that at the top left, it gives you a bar that tells you the time limit or how long you've been talking. So it gives you a good gauge on where you're at within your presentation. Once you're done recording, you're going to press pause and then done. This will show up um, and it just gives you a preview of what you just recorded. You can insert a title and description and press upload. It'll give you a couple of pages and your video should be here. Once you get your video here, you can click it and preview it again. And this is showing you how it will show up to Dr. Howard. So as far as actually submitting the assignment, you will go into your assignments um, on whatever link Dr. Howard uploads and you will see a button that says file upload. On the far right of file upload, there will be a studio option tab. Once you click that, it brings up your studio library and everything you've ever done in studio will be here. You click whichever video you want. I used my example video and we want to make sure that the display download option is checked and then we press embed. Once we embed the video, this makes the video a URL website for URL website link for Dr. Howard and you just press submit assignment and you're pretty good. So as far as the 10 tips, I've kind of just grouped them, if you will. The first set of tips is basically saying, make sure you stay on topic. We want to talk in clear and concise points and make sure that we don't ramble. We only have five minutes. So I think a good thing to do is do a little preparation ahead of time to make sure your content will fit within this video. Because for a five minute video, two minutes as well as 12 minutes are equally bad. Um, this next group of tips is basically saying, try to limit the content on the screen. We don't want to see students reading from the screens. We want to see that you know what you're talking about. Um, we also want to limit background, background distractions. We don't want to see your cute animals walking in the background. And we also want to make sure we can hear you and see whatever is on your screen if you want us to see it. Um, the eighth tip is to watch a 10 to 15 second version of your video with all of your features. I myself had to record a video and I did not do this and I ended up making the whole video and the audio wasn't on. So don't be like me and have to record another video. Just um, a precaution to make sure that you have all of your elements in line. Um, our ninth tip is to try to use your strengths and weaknesses. Um, as you saw earlier, I tried to use a couple of pictures to bring out my personality for these really boring slides. Um, not saying that you have to use your dog every time or your animals, but we think it would be interesting if you could try to incorporate your personality within your presentation in some kind of way. Um, the 10th tip is basically um, to relax. 
this video is or these video assignments are supposed to be a low stress level opportunity for students to improve upon their communication um i myself took this course probably about a year and a half ago so i'm definitely not um too far from where you are now and if you just believe in yourself relax be confident and focused everything should be fine thank you for watching